We're such a fragmented society in our viewing habits, in our readership habits, uh, all our habits, that it's rare to find any event where people are all talking about it, the run up to it and the day after. And the Super Bowl is probably the best example of it. For the big companies, as you said, it's a no-brainer. They spend so much money in advertising, they need mass audiences, and this is a place to reward their people. Uh, there's a lot of stuff rolled into it. People like being involved with the Super Bowl as an advertiser. It charges up the troops. You get all your dealers together and you have a party there. So there's, a lots, of, there's lots of collateral, if you will, that, that makes that an interesting, exciting place for the, for the big advertisers to be. You have two choices. You can play it safe and go down to the lowest common denominator and you'll get wiped out because nobody's going to remember anything. When you've got a very large, diverse audience and diverse taste, one of the ways people try to get publicity is to stand out from the clutter by taking it in some direction that's, quote, extreme. So that happens every year and we shouldn't be surprised uh, because there's enormous pressure on the advertisers, the people are spending the money, to quote, get results. What does results mean? Standing out from the clutter. And it's a bit of an arms race because everybody's trying to do something different. We know what makes popular ads. It's easy to measure popularity. And there's a pretty uh, quick way for each of us to, to figure that out. When you watch an ad, just reflect on what came to mind as you're watching the ad. That's going to tell you whether people like the ad or not. If you liked the ad, if you found yourself cheering for the ad, um, you probably liked the ad. Probably true of most people who watched it. If you find yourself counter-arguing with the ad, you don't like it. It doesn't matter what the actual content is. If in the moment, if you find yourself counter-arguing with it, the ad doesn't work as, as, a, as a device. Does it work as a sales promotional device? Does it work in the business sense? Those are largely detached from the social visibility and social popularity of ads. It's a companion piece, and the companies that know how to use it get mileage out of it. It's, it's, the idea is to create conversation around your message. And the, the, the dance, if you will, is that historically, we've always, we meaning companies, have always been used to controlling their message. So it scares them that social media is, is, is a world where they don't control the message. But if you're smart enough about it, and I would point to Frito-Lay, look at the immense amount of publicity Frito-Lay got out of turning their ad campaign in the Super Bowl into an ad contest. Um, thousands of entries, the amount of uh, virtual ink spent on talking about it was much more than the actual ads themselves. Uh, so yes, it's a companion piece, it's a magnifier, it's a multiplier.